Hello everyone, this video is about Port Marnock. If you found this video on Facebook, you can share it. What will help me most is subscribing to my YouTube channel. Port Marnock is a coastal village in Northern County, Dublin. It's located between Malahide and Ball Doyle. The population is about 10,000 people. Port Marnock is named after St. Marnock, who came to the area in the 6th century. Folklore has it that he asked St. Patrick's permission to stay in this area and build a church. Now the village is named after him. Here's the oldest standing St. Marnock Church. It was built in the 12th century, and it's believed to have been used until 1615. The church was 18 meters by five and a half meters, and it had a triple arched bell tower. The graves in the cemetery date back to the 1600s. Tide mills were used in coastal areas where the change in tide water would give power to the millstones. This one dates back to the 12th century. It was used to ground corn. It was rebuilt in 1800 and included three stories. By 1867, the water supply was not powerful enough to run a mill, so it stopped being used. It was damaged in a storm in 1903. The roof came off in 1912, and it was dismantled in the 1940s. Today, you can still see the footing of the mill, and you can see some of the walls that helped usher the water into the mill. You can find more information on the Visit portmarnock.ie website, including a picture of the till mill before it was torn down. Here's the second St. Marnock Church. It was used between 1790 and 1960. It was the first church in Port Marnock in nearly 200 years. It is now in private ownership. Next to this church is a blacksmith's forge which was built around 1850 by John Donnelly. They would build gates, farm equipment, horseshoes, and other items at this location. The Donnelly family appear in the 1901 census as still operating the forge, and it's believed that they had continued operating it into the mid 20th century. This is Carrick Hill Martello Tower. It's one of 26 towers along the Dublin coast. Twelve of the towers are in Fingal County. They were built to protect Ireland from a French invasion around 1805. It originally had a 24-pound rotatable cannon on its roof. The building could hold 15 soldiers. Luckily, none of the 26 towers ever had to fire a shot at an enemy. This one was disarmed in 1874 and later sold. Now it's used for private residential purposes. Port Marnock has a train station which opened in May of 1844. It is on the Dublin to Belfast line. And today the Port Marnock station is part of the DART system, which is the commuter line for Dublin. The first golf course in the area was built in 1850 by John Jameson. Yes, the distiller's grandson. He had bought a lot of land and liked the game of golf, so he built the private course. The famous course, Port Marnock Golf Club, it opened in 1894 with nine holes. Two years later, it was extended to 18 holes. And then in 1971, it was extended again another nine holes. The only change to the championship course was the insertion of a par 3 15th hole in 1927. This course was the location of the first Irish Open in 1927, where the prize fund was 1,000 British pounds. It was also used in the 1949 and 2019 British Amateur Championship. It was used for the Canadian Cup in 1960 and the Walker Cup in 1991. 
The newer course, which is Port Marnock Hotel and Golf Links, opened in 1995. This course sits on top of the original private 12-hole golf course that the Jamison family had built. The Port Marnock Lynx course has hosted GUI, PGA, and LET events. Golf World rated it 22nd in the top 100 golf courses of Ireland. And also, Golf Digest rated it 23rd. John Jamison III moved to Port Marnock in 1847. He was able to move here and still run the distillery in the city center because of the new railway. He and his wife had five children and he passed away in 1881. His oldest son, John Jameson IV, took over the house. And here's the 1901 census showing John Jameson and his wife living in Port Marnock. The house that John Jameson lived in is now part of the Port Marnock Hotel. The Jameson family had purchased a lot of land along the coast, and this is one of the main reasons why the peninsula in Port Marnock has the two golf courses and open beaches to the public. Port Marnock Beach is nicknamed the Velvet Strand due to its smooth sand along the beach. The Irish Sea can be rough some days. Here's a couple clips of a very windy morning in Port Marnock. Back in the 1930s, this beach was used for aviation. This beach was used for the Southern Cross flight, which was the second westbound transatlantic flight, which left Ireland and landed in Newfoundland, Canada. The first solo transatlantic flight left Port Marnock and flew to New Brunswick, Canada. That was in August of 1932. As you can see, Port Marnock is a beautiful village. I was fortunate to live here for one year and enjoy the five mile long beach. If you have the opportunity, I highly recommend visiting this village. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.